As the humanitarian crisis at Europe's borders continues, Sinn Féin has been clear and very, very direct in how we can help solve this crisis. The European focus on keeping them out rather than keeping them safe has resulted in the deaths of several thousand people in this year alone. We need to provide safe and legal access for refugees fleeing the worst excesses of Western-induced conflict in the Middle East and in North Africa. We need to ensure that all countries do their fair share in resolving this crisis. I agree with the EU Commissioner for Migration, who said the response of the European Member States has been very, very disappointing. Ireland as a nation can accept thousands of refugees. We must ensure that these people become part of the fabric of our community and not discarded in direct provision sites. We must activate the Temporary Protection Directive and enhance the Syrian Vulnerable Persons Relocation Scheme. And of course, we must suspend the regulations that force refugees and asylum seekers to register in the country they land in, which are called the Dublin regulations. These regulations are in part responsible for the scenes of desperation we have witnessed in months. Sinn Féin has made the humanitarian crisis a priority for several, several months. In June, I travelled to the Mediterranean Reception Centre on Lapidusa. I saw firsthand the horror that awaits refugees who were lucky enough to survive the treacherous crossing. And, and this week, I am travelling to Jordan to see how refugees are treated and how the authorities there are managing the situation. I and other MEPs will be visiting the Satari refugee camp in the northern Jordan. Uh, it's close to the Syrian border. And Jordan has received vast numbers of people fleeing conflicts in neighbouring Palestine and Syria. Indeed, the Satari camp is mostly populated with people who have fled Homs and Damascus, areas of intense fighting or oppression. Opened only a few short years ago, there are already over 90,000 people living in the Satari camp and is making it one of the most largest population centres in Jordan. And as a member of the Civil Liberties Committee, I will be assessing the living conditions in the camp and I will be seeking meetings with authorities and who are responsible for managing and protecting the thousands of people trying to survive in the camp as well as talking to the many people who are there. You know, let there be no doubt, endless Western military interventionism has brought about dire destruction, misery and division across the Middle East and North Africa. The illegal invasion and occupation of Iraq, given the facade of legitimacy by lies about weapons of mass destruction, was based on nothing other than a Western thirst for oil. This, along with the bombing of Libya, and the support given by Western powers to Libyan opposition groups, including allies of ISIS, as well as the haphazard interventions of the West and Syria, have created this crisis. Turkish, NATO, American and British bombing missions, drone strikes and extrajudicial killings will not solve this crisis. The conflicts in the Middle East have been exacerbated by the arms trade, the supply of countless weapons and Western intervention to capture the control of oil fields and gas. All of this has fostered um, the radicalism of individuals. In fact, without doubt, these have contributed to the absolute horror of little children been washed up on beaches and thousands, thousands more drowning in the Mediterranean who are fleeing from these conflicts which are propagated by the West. So I will be reporting back to you uh, details of my fact-finding mission to Jordan when I return.